This video shows how to calculate a custom time average from visualization files. So when you run a Barracuda simulation in version 20 or newer, the default output format is a tech plot output. And so what we will be doing is we'll be using the tech plot for Barracuda interface in conjunction with PyTechPlot, which allows you to run custom Python scripts to analyze your data. Um, so for today's task, uh, one thing to make note of is that Barracuda has a feature for calculating time average data, uh, but the way this feature works is it's a cumulative time average from the averaging start time, which in this case is five seconds, to the end of your simulation. And so in some cases, it's useful to calculate a time average um, from a custom start time to a custom end time, uh, depending on what you want to look at in your data. Uh, for this example, we'll be using the Kuiper's pre-setup example from the Barracuda training directory. Um, so feel free to follow along with that. Uh, I've already run this simulation on my system, so I have all 20 seconds of simulation data available. And so here, let's go ahead and start up TechPlot. Okay, so here, let's start with uh, instantaneous cell volume fraction. So I'll open TechPlot here. And what we'll see is this is the cell representation of particle volume fraction. And if we play this through time, we can see that we have 20 seconds worth of data available in our current directory. And for, for today's example, uh, what I'll show is calculating the time average from custom start time of 2.5 to a custom end time of 3.5. Uh, this is before the built-in time average would have started. And then I'll show from 3.5 to 4.5 to illustrate how you can get multiple time average periods from the same set of data. Um, so here, let's take a look at this. If you see in the background, this is the folder with all of my simulation results. So the, the, all those PLT files are there. And I've also put a few custom Python scripts in this folder. Uh, you can download these Python scripts from the support site post where you're watching this video. Um, what you'll notice is that these are actually Python scripts that originated from TechPlot's GitHub repository that's called Handy Scripts. If you go into the Python folder, you'll see a whole collection of Python scripts that have been collected over the years that do a number of useful things. Uh, for this example, I started with timeaverage.py, and I also pulled in tpmath.py and tputils.py. Um, I made some modifications to time average and TP math, so I put this CPFT underscore on the beginning of those file names just to, just to indicate that those are different than the ones that you would pull down from the GitHub repository itself. Um, so here, let's go ahead and use these Python scripts. In order to do PyTechPlot scripting, uh, we have to use this scripting menu, PyTechPlot connections, and check the box for accept connections. This tells this TechPlot GUI that a Python script is going to connect to it and perform some operations. Um, so the next step here, I will open a Python terminal. This is an Anaconda 3 terminal. I am going to navigate to C training Kuiper's pre-setup because this is where I uh, ran this case. And then I can run the script by typing Python, and then my script is called cpfd underscore timeaverage.py. And so I'll start that running. You'll see here it's connected to that GUI on this port, 7600. It says the connection was established, and now the script is running, and it's asking us a few questions. Uh, the first question is, which strand do you want to average? Uh, in our case, we want to average data that's on the strand associated with the cells. So if we use data, data set info, if you look at these zones that are for the cells, all of them are on time strand one. So if I click through them, you'll see they each have a different solution time, but the actual time strand is always one. And so for our case, that's what we're going to want. Um, if you look at particles, those are on time strand two. If you have fluid tracers, those are on time strand three. Um, so we don't need to deal with all that data. Let's limit ourselves just to number one. So I'm going to type that and hit enter. Uh, the minimum solution time, in our example, will do 2.5 seconds and hit enter, and then a maximum of 3.5 seconds and hit enter. And so then the script is connecting to this TechPlot GUI, and it's going to calculate a time average for each of the variables 
that are available on the cells. And so we'll see that it works through all of these. And if we go back here to this data set info box, what you'll see is a new zone has been created with a label that says time average strand equals one, T min equals 2.5, T max equals 3.5. So this is a new zone of data that was created by this script that contains these time averages that we're interested in. If we run the script again, then we can create a new zone that does a time average for a different period of time. So in this case, let's go from a minimum time of 3.5 to a maximum time of 4.5. And we hit enter. Again, it's reading through the data files. It's going to identify those files that are between 3.5 and 4.5 seconds and calculate a time average for each of these variables within that period of time. Okay, and we can see here in our data set info box, this new zone has appeared here for that time period. Um, so now let's show how to display these within TechPlot. So if we open our zone style dialog, um, here I'm going to turn off the original cells zone because we're not interested in that anymore. And I'm going to turn on, if I expand this time or zone name uh, column, I'm going to turn on the time average strand equals one from 2.5 to 3.5 seconds. So let's enable that and then go to surfaces, right click and say, we want to see the boundary cell faces. So here's our time average from 2.5 to 3.5. And um, instead, if we wanted to turn on our time average that we calculated from 3.5 to 4.5, we could turn on the boundary cell faces for that and we can visualize that. And so once you have this zone in TechPlot, then you can do all the normal operations um, that you might normally want to do, uh, such as slices or uh, blanking or things like that. Um, one thing to be aware of is this is not a time varying zone and um, it doesn't progress through time. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.